Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Blair. Welcome to my beauty space. So today I want to do a get ready with me testing out a bunch of new products at Sephora. So yeah, if you want to know how do I achieve the look right here. As well as all the products that I've been using, just please keep watching. So first with the base, today I'm going to use the Dior One Essential Mist Lotion. So this is what it looks like. This is not really a new product, but it's kind of new to me. So I just really love it because it is super easy. It's kind of like Smashbox Primer Water because it definitely gives your skin a more like moist look. I'm not sure if it's helping with like long lasting of like the makeup, like how the primer water claims to be, but I just really like it and I love the scent. So I'm going to just spray it all over my face. Smells really good. And you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of like a very fancy cream that Dior has. So I really, really love this one. Moving on to the eyes. Today I'm going to use the autocorrect by Sandy Riley. So this is the eye gel, which is really, really nice. And you just pump on your hand this much. And just apply it like this. And moving on to the serum today, I am going to use the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. This is their limited edition, which is so awesome. I saw the picture, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm dying. So this is a bottle looks like, how pretty. And also you have this keychain that you can just put it on, which is really, really awesome. And this Advanced Night Repair, like I don't even need to introduce more because this is such an iconic product. I just really love it. And I'm using this as a serum because it is super lightweight. All right, moving on for moisturizer. Today I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Extra Bare Glow Moisturizing Balm. This one, I just saw so many good reviews online. That's why I decided to give it a try because I do feel like Bobbi Brown has really good quality items. But sometimes I feel like they can be a little bit heavy for the summertime, but for the winter time, I feel like, wow, this is really creamy. I love this. This is so bomb. I love it. Feels so good. Mm. It just feels super creamy and nourishing. I recommend that if you have dry skin, you should totally check this one out because it just feels super amazing. So yeah, I absolutely love it. As for the lip balm today, I am going to use the Sephora Collection Watermelon Lip Balm. This one was so popular, I remember like in August or like September, everybody was like looking for this one and literally sold out in my local Sephora. I had to went to a different Sephora to get it, but ironically, I never even used it. So I decided today is a day. It actually doesn't really have a sheen to it. Let me swatch it for you guys. As you can see, maybe like a slightly orangey sheen. Which is kind of funny because if you think about watermelon, you will think about like red. But I really love this balm. I feel like it feels so nourishing. It's just all in all like a great product. It's just really good and also it's very easy to carry around. If you don't want like a pop balm, you can just carry this one because it's just so much easier to apply on the go. So yeah, I absolutely love it and I see why people are raving about it now. All right, moving on to the primer. Today I'm going to use the Fasari Skincare Primer. This is a blur primer, which is really, really awesome. I've already used it once. I really, really love it. So I want to use it again, especially today I'm doing like a try new product at Sephora. Because sometimes I do feel like there are so many products coming out all the time. So a lot of the not so new products is being pushed to the side, which I don't think it should be like that because you know, it's still really good products. We shouldn't just be like always on the hunt for the newest thing because I just, 
I just don't think that's necessary. So that's why I decided I want to use this primer today. Feels really good. It has like a tackiness to it, which is really, really nice. I love that. So it's like this. And I feel like it settles down to my face and everything feels pretty tacky, which is a good sign because it's that the primer will grab the foundation on so that the foundation won't move around, which is really, really nice. All right, so let's move on to the foundation. All right, moving on to the foundation. Today, I'm going to use the Beauty Blender foundation. I actually got this from their website, but I figured since Sephora also carries them, so it does count as a Sephora item, right? So once you open it up, here is the inside looks like. It has this foundation, and then it comes with a Beauty Blender as well. I love the fact that the Beauty Blender's color is corresponding to your shade color. I think that's very creative. And for me, I am in the shade 2.3. So here is the shade looks like. I hope this will match me well. And what I really like about this beauty blender is that you just unlock this and then you press it and then you can just dab it on the surface. I just feel like that's so smart and convenient because a lot of times I do it on my hand but then I have to like clean my hand or sometimes it moves around. So I love the fact that this one literally you can just use the foundation bottle as a surface. So yeah, let's just get started. And I'm going to wet my beauty blender using a Fix Plus. And yeah, here is the shade. What do you guys think? I think that this is a good match. It might be a little bit lighter. However, I still feel like you can always use bronzer to make it darker. As long as it's not like crazily dark or light, I feel like you can definitely make it work. So yeah, this is a color. Looks pretty good. It's hard to buy foundation online though, with all the color match. But I got this foundation when they were on sale. So I got the foundation and the beauty blender for the price of the foundation. So that was pretty sweet. So yeah, this is the foundation looks like. I really love the foundation. I think it covers everything really, really well. So yeah, it is a thumbs up from me. And also it is actually less messy if you just really scrape the surface when you use it. So I just felt like this is so convenient and I highly recommend this foundation. All right, moving on to the concealer. So today I'm going to use the NARS Soft Matte Concealer and this is in the shade medium one custard. And this is not really like a new item, but recently I've been starting to use this one and I fell in love immediately with the finish of it. That's why I decided to feature this one again because I really think this is amazing. And if you want like a detailed flawless look, I actually recommend you using this one instead of like an applicator because I feel like if you take your time to blend it out, it gives you more of a precise look like the regular concealer. This is really soft matte, like it is true to the name. So I just really love it. And I'm going to prime my eyelid using the concealer as well. That will be my eyelid primer today. So you can just use any kind of like a flat brush like this. This one is from Crown Cosmetics. I got it from my um, BoxyCharm, I think. Or Fat Fit Fun, I don't really remember, but it is really nice. I heard that Crown Cosmetics is like the manufacturer for Morphe, so. Oh, that just says the quality, because Morphe's brush are really good. So it's like this. Look how nice. It is literally flawless. Let's do it right here as well. And also around my nose. So yeah, this is a whole look with a concealer. Just look how flawless that is. It literally covers everything and it is so soft. And if you want a little bit softer, you can even use your fingertip and then you apply like this so that it literally melts into your skin. So I just absolutely love it. All right, moving on to the powder. Today I'm going to use a Laura Mercier powder and this is a holiday collection. So I just really, really love this powder. I feel like this is, you know, the OG. I literally use this for like the past five years. So... Yeah, I love a holiday twist to it, so 
absolutely love it this is the look look how soft you just set everything everything just being set into their place so literally have nothing bad to say about this powder and I just love to use a beauty blender to set it because it's just easy and I do think a beauty blender is still the softest blender honestly if you ask me I don't know like what's her technology or anything but I but I just really feel like it is super nice so for the brow today, first I'm going to use the Bravo Conditioning Primer from Benefit. I actually have this for a while, but I just misplaced it. But recently I found it out and I absolutely adore this primer. I might buy a new one just because this is really amazing. So I'm going to just apply it like this. Look how nice it makes my brow looks. It literally just combs my brow and put them all in their place. So that way when you fill in the brow, it will be much easier. So I'm going to let the brow just dry a little bit, then I'm going to go back and fill it in. All right, so for the eye today, I am going to use my brand new eyeshadow palette from Seate. Literally, I saw Tardy open PR packages and then I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. And at first I was a little bit hesitant because I don't know how the review goes, but once there are enough reviews, I was like, oh my gosh, this is actually amazing. So I jumped on the bandwagon to buy it because I don't want to just buy it for the sake of the packaging, even though I absolutely love this packaging. So yeah, let's open it together, shall we? So here is the eyeshadow palette right here. Does this remind you some kind of like a toy that you used to play with when you are a little girl? At least that reminds me of that. So that's pretty cool. And once you open it up, you have a gorgeous mirror. And then those are the shades. So these are definitely more like the purple-ish kind of shades, which I really, really love. That's also the other reason why I decided to purchase this one, even though I have like a hundred eyeshadow palette. I just feel like those kind of like a shimmer purple colors are really weird. I just really want like a good quality shimmer dark purple shade. So yeah, that's why I got it. That's one swipe. And let me do another color right here. So here, let me just show you in one swipe. Look at the colors. Those are so beautiful. It has like a slight sheen to it, but not too much. So I still feel like you can use them as a matte base, but then it has a little bit of sheen to it, which is really, really nice. And then we also have three shimmers right there. So the first one is this one. Look how gorgeous is this one. Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. Then we have this one right here. That is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Those are so beautiful. Like I'm not going to lie. I especially love this color. I swatch it again because I just love it. I feel like this color is so beautiful. So yeah, let's put them on my eyelid then. For the base, first I'm going to pick up the shade right here. This is kind of like a beige base shade. The brush, I'm using a small detail brush from Juvia's Place. I got this brush bundle during Black Friday. So once I received it, I'm so happy about the quality. It is really, really nice. So I'm going to just apply this shade all over my eyelid. Like this. Look how nice that is, right? A little bit more. And also, it is so nice that when an eyeshadow palette has a mirror, so that you don't have to use another mirror, it is just really convenient. Oh my goodness, I love this color. It is so pretty. Absolutely amazing. And it applies on so nicely. I just really love the color. Super pretty. Like this. Gorgeous. And moving on, I want to use this mauve shade right here. I just really love this mauve shade. I think it is a gorgeous shade. So let's just place on my brush, dab off the excess, and then apply it like this. Like right, that is so pretty. And on this side. I 
I really love it. I think it is so pretty. It is absolutely stunning. All the reviews are true. I can testify to that because it just glides on so easily when you apply it. it literally just glides on. There's no patchiness. There's no discoloration. It literally just glides on so smoothly. So I absolutely love it. Now I want to intensify the lash line. So I'm going to use the middle shade right here. This darker purple shade using the same brush because I'm going from the lighter to the darker shade. So I don't think there's a need to switch brushes. I just really love to use one brush for all the steps. Makes it easy to clean. So yeah, that's the shimmer right there. So pretty. Absolutely love it. And the same goes on this side. Also, I love to drag it on and up a little bit. I feel like that kind of elongates your eye a little bit. So it just gives like the illusion of your eyes are bigger. So I just really love that. Okay, lastly, I want to place some shimmer in the center of my eyelid. So I'm going to use my finger and I'm going to dip into the shade Pandora, which is this kind of like a silver pink shade. So I'm going to just place it right here. Oh my gosh, so pretty. I love this eyeshadow palette. Like 100% recommend to anyone that's interested. Yeah, these are beautiful colors. I absolutely love it. So, so far all the shades I tested are so, so nice. The whole application just really, really smoothly. And even the shades have slight shimmer, you can still use them as a matte base. I don't feel like it's too shimmery to the point that it's just way too much. So I absolutely love this palette. And I feel like you can use these two shades as an eyeliner. For me, I'm going to use the eyeliner first, but if I feel like I need a little bit more smoking out, I'm going to test out one of these shades as a liner. So for the liner today, I'm going to use this Pat McGrath liner right here. And you know when you're walking to Sephora, they have like the counters all for mascara. Then there's another shelves all for like liner. That's where I found this one. And I compare this one with the Stila one, with the Kat Von D one. Those are the two that I really, really love. And this one, let me tell you, is better than the two that I swatched. So I'm like, oh my gosh, sold. I have to have this one. So once they open it up, here is the liner. So as you can see, there's Pat McGrath Labs. And here's what it looked like inside looks really sharp so here look how nice that is so pigmented and so black and the whole application is so smooth that's what sold me i'm like oh my gosh sold Be because i love the cat Von D liner like so much like i always use that one and also a lot of people recommend the fenty one but for me this one slays the two so i'm just like i'm a pat mcgrass girl so let me apply the liner on camera Look how easy that is. I don't want to apply it all over my eyes just because I felt like, I just feel like it's a little bit harder to control the leaner liner, but like for the outer liner, like just look at that. So the same with this side. Oh my gosh, so easy. Oh my goodness, this is so easy. And also this one, it's not so hard in terms of the tip. It is a felt tip. So like you can like bend over a little bit if you want. So when you like apply like this, it bend a little bit. That just helps like the whole application. So, oh my gosh, this is a new holy grail. And this is not that expensive. It's like 28, maybe 25. It is not that much more expensive than the Kat Von D one. But I felt like this one is better. So I highly recommend this one. Right, moving on to the mascara because today I kind of want to use a mascara instead of falsies because I always do falsy looks but I just feel like I need a little bit of break I need more natural look so today I'm going to use the Kush mascara by Milk Makeup literally everybody is hyping about this one and I was first like uh, I don't know it's $20 it's pretty expensive but then I'm like okay fine advertisement like I just get conquered I guess like seeing everybody using the weaving about it so i'm like okay fine i gave in i just want to buy it so here is a mascara first off this is really heavy it's really sturdy so it is literally very good quality i love that 
and once you open it up here is the brush tip looks like this literally looks like a Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. So I just really, really love it. I think this is a great brush top. Because just by looking at the brush shape, I already have a feeling that this will make beautiful lashes. So let's apply it together. Okay, so this is like two and a half coats, and can you see the difference? I just see the difference is pretty obvious. The lashes on this side definitely looks more like volumizing and just curved. I just really love it. So let's do the other side as well. Okay, so these are the lashes. I really, really love it. I think this is very easy to apply and also there's not like a huge amount of black goo on the mascara if you know what I'm saying. So it is really, really nice and I love the brush shape of this mascara. I feel, I feel like it gives me the volume that I need. Like I just felt like this just makes my lashes like go up, especially because I'm Asian so I have shorter lashes. So I definitely need that volume. So yeah, this mascara is a yes for me. Moving on to the brows, today I want to use some powder and I'm going to use the Lorac Pro Matte Eyeshadow Palette and once you open it up, here are the shades. So I just feel like I love a brow powder to fill in my brow, especially after the priming, like everything's already in the place because I just don't need that much volume. I just need a little bit of filling here and there. So to me, I feel like brow powder gives me the most natural look. And also I happen to really love the Lorac palette. I, I feel like all the mattes are super wearable. I love them. I feel like this will be a good travel companion. Not only you have all the mattes for your eyes and also you can use them as an eyebrow, like powder so yeah today i'm going to use more of like the brown color just put on a brush and i'm going to just fill it in like this i'm going to use a lighter hand because the powders are really pigmented i just really love the powders i think it is so nice and i use a shade right here so it's kind of like a medium brown color and i'm going to do the same on the other side just a tiny little bit. I love it. It's definitely a little bit on the dramatic side, but I really, really love it. So I highly recommend you check this palette out. And you can probably buy this on sale, to be honest. So it is really awesome. Moving on to the blush. So today I'm going to use a pretty vulgar blush. I saw Cassidy Lights using this one. I'm just like, oh my gosh, I have to have this one. And I also got this one in my boxy charm, but I got like a bright pink color. A lot of people are getting this color. I'm so jealous because look at this color. Oh my goodness, isn't that so beautiful? I'm not going to do any contour today because I kind of want to keep a light makeup look without the lashes, without the contour. So I'm going to use this blush. And I'm just picking another brush from the Jewish place and I just place it right here. Don't worry about the pigmentation because I am going to blend this out using a bigger powder brush. So I'm just place it on here right now. And then I'm going to use this bigger brush from Jewish place as well to blend it out. So it is like this. Look at the color. I love the color. The one thing about this brush is that I kind of wish the hair can be a little bit shorter because I feel like this moves around a lot. So I'm just like, maybe it would be better if it's shorter, but it is super soft. So I love that. Look at the color, right? Here, a little bit more. And on here, a little bit more as well. So this is a blush. Look how beautiful that is. I love this color. I feel like it makes me look so fresh. And I feel like a good orangey color can definitely lift up your whole face. It just makes your face have more colors and everything. So yeah, this is so pretty. 
All right, moving on for a highlight today. I am going to use a brand new Diamond Lights Finisher by Artist Couture. So when I saw this in Sephora, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. I've been following Artist Couture for a while now. He has the bomb ass highlights. I have, I have his other highlight, which is Coco Bling, which is so amazing. It killed the game of powder highlights. So when I saw this one and I swatch it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm in. So I usually just pour the powder into the cap because it's easier. So here is the shade. Let me show you. Did you see that? How nice that is. So I'm going to just use like a small eyeshadow brush, pick it up and apply it right here. Look how nice that is. Oh my gosh, so nice. I know you are supposed to use like a fan brush, however, because the cap is a little bit small, so I kind of just want to use like a smaller eyeshadow brush to apply it like this. It is so nice. This is so pretty, oh my gosh. Look at the color right here. Isn't that so pretty? Like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It is so pretty. I absolutely adore this powder. I highly recommend you pick it up because it is just so amazing. And mine's in the shade Spotlight Glitz. So here is a shade right here, if you guys can see. Lastly, for the lips, I kind of want to use like a nude pink lip today. And I have a new Giorgio Armani Lip Mastros. This one is a bestseller, so let me show you guys. This is the color looks like, and this is in the shade 501. Let me swatch it for you guys. Here is the color. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. Actually, I feel like the color on my hand is a little bit darker than the color in the tube, but it is so pretty, so I'm going to apply it. This is the color. Oh my goodness. This is so pretty. And this literally feels like a wow with formula by Kylie Cosmetics. So it's kind of the like cream formula. It is so comfortable on the lips, but it is so pigmented as well. One swipe is all you need. So I just love this color. It is so beautiful. And this is a perfect color all year round, whether it's summer, winter, fall, spring. I feel like this is super versatile. So that's it. That's today's look. I really dig in this look. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Let me know what do you think and what do you want to watch next. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.